Hi there, this is Tal from Talek.com. This is the third tutorial um, about uh, installing Drupal 7 on a freshly installed Ubuntu Linux server. And the uh, first thing uh, we're going to do in this part is configure MySQL to run Drupal. Then we're going to download Drupal and configure its folder structure and just install it. So uh, if you log into my site, which is Tarek.com, under MySQL you find a lot of the commands that we are going to use here. I'm going to have a link uh, uh, to all of this uh, right beneath this video. The link will be to this post, but this post will include the links to all the other places as well. So uh, let's start at the beginning. And uh, what we want to do is create a database uh, for uh, a Drupal to use so we need to log on I'm going to log on to MySQL I'm going to log on as root and we're going to create a database I'm going to call it uh, DP7 because it's going to use for Drupal 7 uh, second thing is we need to create a user so we're going to create user I'm going to call this user dp underscore user uh, not the apostrophe add again apostrophe localhost and the semicolon at the end so okay create this user and they want to create a password for this user obviously so I'm going to use the update command I'm going to set a password for this user I'm going to use the password function which will encrypt the user password I'm just going to use one two three four five six that's not very good password but it will work for this tutorial don't ever use this in real life you don't want to believe me and where user equals dp user that should do it yeah it's actually did um, believe it or not this it's not over yet we still need to grant uh, all privileges to this user on Drupal 7 I mean not to, to grant it on all tables uh, to our user which is deep user at local host note please that we are not using the apostrophe next um, to the add sign so the it's it's a username in apostrophe and then the add sign with no apostrophes then uh, the site the host from which the user is able to log on and uh, now we're going to flash the privileges just to be safe so I want to make sure that we did it right so I'm going to use show grants uh, if you want to see all the commands of course you can see them in my site and we can see that the user has full privileges under uh, TP7 on localhost so we have configured successfully uh, the MySQL database and create a new database for the Drupal host we can actually uh, do a little bit more we can create additional tables but we want to do it right now so what I need right now is uh, to exit MySQL and I want to make 
uh, data folder, write, oops, sorry, write in the root where I can put all of my Drupal stuff. Uh, I'm going to put the archive there, not the actual website. So I'm going to put the archive there and we're going to uh, use the archive uh, to upload the, the content to uh, the, the Apache, the Apache uh, web server uh, folder. So what we need right now is the Drupal archive and we go to drupal.org for that. Get started with Drupal and download Drupal 7. 1.4. This is the current version. I'm going to click on this and do a, c a copy link. Then I'm going to send it back. And then we're going to use webget to get this link. Right click. And let's get this uh, archive. Okay. Archive is done. We got this archive under the data. What we need now Extract the archive into an Apache folder and just set up Drupal. By the way, this is the same thing that we do to install WordPress, or Joomla, or any other uh, CMS, PHP-based CMS. So let's just look what we have in this folder. Yep, we have the Drupal archive. So I'm going to use the tar command. See, we got Drupal 7, so I'm going to move it into var, which is where Apache normally will put everything, and I'm going to rename it just to make it easy on me to find it. And uh, what we need to do right now is to log in to our site with dp7 in it. And we can start installing the system. But we're going to have some problem and I'm going to show you exactly with one command how to solve all of your problem uh instead of reconfiguring permission time and time again now as you can see we have a couple of permission issues and configure it wrong if you configure it wrongly you're going to have much more than that you're going to have ftp errors and all kinds of error and all of this can be solved in one command listen up so we're going to do is going to change the owner of the file to the default owner of uh, Apache, the default user of Apache. And isn't this great? So, if you remember, we have DP7 and DP user, and we use a very, very unsecure password, but this is only for tutorial and it creates everything and that's it site name I'll call it my local site email address doesn't really mean anything and username I give it an admin just a simple password to get everything going default country United States and save and continue and that's it we're done